ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೇತ್ತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ ಭವಾದ್ದಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣು ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀ ಸಜುಷ್ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವ ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ್ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
Savai Pungsam Paru Dharmu Yatu Bhakti Radhakshaji Ahitukya Prithyataja Yatmasu Prasidati Savai Pungsam Paru Dharmu Yatu Bhakti Radhakshaji Ahitukya Prithyataja Yatmasu Prasidati Gaudiya Goshtipati Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Dhaka told that when my eyes don't like to say anything material, when my ear don't like to hear anything material, always try to reject material sound, when my tongue don't like to speak any material, always trying to get the taste of Krishna Nam, that is the actual moment when I can get the taste of Aprakita Jagat. Aprakita Jagat, material people cannot understand what is the Aprakita Jagat. They are doing bhajan. They are taking brahmacharya, sannyas, bhav, everything. But they like to follow some mixing procedure. Some mixing. This can be also there, this can be also there, mixing. But they don't know, mixing procedure is not allowed. I know it is very tough to follow, but still there is no alternative. There is no alternative. Mixing procedure is not allowed. Absolute bhajan can help you to go ahead, Otherwise, you cannot make any progress. Some kind of stagnant condition you can feel in your life. Everything there, externally. But internally, you cannot find any progress. All over the world, one kind of anticlimax prevailing at present. At present, all over the world, one kind of anticlimax prevailing. No, nobody likes to hear and speak about that absolute truth, absolute way, standing on absolute platform. Not possible. If you like to discuss about absolute, first of all, you will have to climb that platform. Without climbing that platform, absolute platform, you have no right to speak about that absolute. I mean, you cannot do. You can try. You can fail you. Material sound can come in the form of Harikatha. It's not possible. Shabhai Pungsam Paro Dharma, Absolute Dharma. Shabhai Nishchita Meva, Affirmative. Shabhai Pungsam Paro Dharma, Yatu Bhakti Radhakshali. So that you can develop your Un unconditional, unconditional devotional mood until the leopard loot speed of that adhaksha javastu. There is two types of thing in this world. Conception. One is aksha javastu, another is adhaksha javastu. All of us, can express our knowledge about all material things. But about aprakita thing, we can speak something. But out of realization, out of realization, if I speak something, it is not Harikatha. What I cannot realize myself, I have no right to speak that false philosophy in front of public to cheat public. But I realize that I can speak. And realization you cannot buy in the market. You have money power, you can go to market and buy some realization you cannot buy. Realization is only possible by the help of pure Sadhguru Vaishnav. Only by the Kripa, absolute Kripa of pure Sadhguru Vaishnav 
you can get realization power. Someday, Gorkishar Babaji Maharaj laughing. Somebody wanted to know something about Rupanuga Bhajan, Raganuga Bhajan. Babaji Maharaj keeping silence, not giving any answer. Because one pure devotee, when look at anybody, after watching him eyes, they can realize what is the condition of that man. It's an automatic factor. Those who are realized soul, sadhu, when they look at anybody, they can, after watching the eyes, they can understand what is their condition. Automatically they can realize. They have some X-ray eyes. They can realize. So, Babaji Maharaj is less interested to speak anything. Speaking, I have no time. You can come after. Again coming, you can come after. Repeatedly cheating, that man become very angry and gone. Babaji Maharaj speaking, they cannot bear even one penny loss. They like to do Rupanuga Bhajan. They cannot even bear one penny loss in their life. They cannot bear. They like to do Rupanuga Bhajan, Raganuga Bhajan. How possible? They have money power. They can go to market and buy. They can buy so many books. Books are available in the Ujjwal Ninmani Adi. So many books you can buy. Babaji Maharaj speaking, they have money power. They can go to market and buy some books. But where from they can get realization? Who can get realization? Where from they can get realization? Realization not available in the book. Not possible. So this way, we see, a prakito bastu kabu prakito gochanoy. We can pass some comment about Janavata Kurani. We can pass some comment about Sita Thakurani. I mean Ram Shakti Sita. But before passing any remark, we should realize who they are. There is so many controversy going on about Hemlata Thakurani, Janava Thakurani, so many contamination, controversy fighting going on. They are passing different kind of rima. First of all, a prakito bastu kabu prakito gochan noy. With material sense organ, material bend, material thinking power, I cannot understand anything a prakito. What is a prakito? I cannot. I am hearing repeatedly from Guru Vaishnava a prakito, a prakito, a prakito. But what is a prakito? What is a prakito? Prakito means material, matter. Prakito means matter. A prakito means antimatter. I mean just day and night, good and bad, all opposite word, na? Synonym and antonym. Similar way, matter. If there is matter, there must be something which is non-matter, not matter. That is called antimatter. That is called aprakita. By realization power, you cannot un only if you can play your hand, head, brain, you cannot understand. Aprakita vastu nahe prakito gochar. Conception of man, woman, this kind of dirty thing can arise. Inside our heart, we cannot understand. Adakshaja bastu and akshaja bastu. Very often, Popad used to speak about akshaja bastu and adakshaja bastu. Akshaja bastu means material thing, whatever you can see, whatever you cannot see. In the infinity world, all matter and matter and matter. All matter. Transformation of Shakti. Maya Shakti. 
Shakti can be converted into matter, matter can be converted into Shakti. That is why theory of relativity we understand. So matter, infinity world, matter. Akshaja Vastu means there is no stability. Today is there, tomorrow you cannot see. You took birth yesterday, now gradually growing up. Inside your body, all changing, all changing going on every day. All your metabolic system, all other things, all changing, going on, but you cannot see. You can discover after 50 years that you are old man. After that you can die. Nothing stability, no stability there. So material object has some parinati. Parinati money? After some time, it can change, some reaction can be there and change. That is called parinati in Sanskrit and Bengali. But aprakiti jagat, there is no no parinati. Aprakiti jagat. So, akshaja vastu means any object here in the material world, akshaja vastu, going to be destroyed today or tomorrow or thousands of years after or after some period, it's going to be destroyed. It's a must. Nobody can protect. Nobody can protect. But Adakshaja Vastu is not this kind of thing. Adakshaja Vastu has some transcendental realm. At any condition, not going to lose his own position is called Achyuta. Achyuta means never displaced. Achyuta. Chuta means displaced. Who is who is never displaced from his own divine position, a prakita, that is called Adakshaja Vastu. Jiva Goswami was writing in Sandarbha the definition of Adakshaja Vastu. Jiva Goswami was writing Adakrito Akhaja Gyanam Tatha Indriyaja Gyanam Jena Iti Adakshaja. Jiva Goswami was writing in Sandarbha. Adhakrita Akshaja Gyanam. Who is Aprakita Vastu? Adhakshaja Vastu? Who? But who is going to kick out all your material effort? Yato Vacho Nivartanti Aprapa Manasasaho. All your material mind, all your conception, all your education, all your power can get a feedback, can get, get a kick. If you endeavor, if you try to express some audacity to know Aprakita Vastu, I can know. I am, I am Pandit, I know everything. Then you can simply can get a kick and go back. Yato vacho nivartanti, nivartanti aprapa manusasaho. You cannot get that Aprakita Vastu. By your personal effort, many power, man power, educational power, any kind of power, whatever you have in your position, you can challenge, but you cannot know. So, Adhakrita Akshaja Gyanam, all your material endeavor, material efforts, material knowledge, material conception, all can get a kick. By that, Aprakita Adhakshaja Vastu and fall down again. That is called Adhakshaja Vastu. By the help of Anything material, you cannot know. Adhakrito Aksha Yoganam, Tatha Indriya Yoganam, all your. Because material knowledge, if you think in cool brain, whatever knowledge you have received in your life, in your educational life, whatever, you can think in cool brain, all you are getting, I mean gathering all knowledge by the help of your sense organ. 
even research, those scientific research, name of scientific research in Sanskrit is called Gaveshana in Bengali and Sanskrit. Gaveshana. In Bengali or Sanskrit language, you can say Gaveshana. In English, you can say research. Sanskrit language and Bengali language, more practical, more scientific, because it has some inner meaning. Why that sound is like that? All Sanskrit language, any word has some background. Why? Why I can speak this? Has some reason, scientific reason. Scientific reason. So, Gaveshana, if I explain according to Sanskrit grammar, we can find go plus eshana. Go plus eshana iti gaveshana. Go plus eshana iti gaveshana. Go mean all your sense organ. Go in the go going to get control over your sense organs. Follow. So, go yukta eshana by the application, by the application of your material sense organ and material brain, whatever knowledge you are going to collect by repeated deliberation, that is called actually Gaveshana. You can proceed gradually. I mean by the application of a sense organ and brain, Whatever knowledge you are going to collect finally, when you are doing some research job, and it is very clear. Research means, first of all, you have to some assumption, it has to start, after that you have to reject, no, 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 this, this cannot be so. You can proceed, no, this cannot be so. This way, Finally, you can understand, oh, from this thing, this is happening. From this thing, this is happening. I can give one example. How you will have to think over and again, over, one, eh, over and again about one subject matter. I mean the subject of your research. Like Jelio Kuri and Madam Kuri. Jelio Kuri and Madam Kuri. They are husband and wife from England, scientists. They collected huge amount of pitch blend. Higher chemistry, you can find it. Pitch blend from one company, waste product. They throw pitch blend. And from pitch blend, they're collecting pitch blend. Day and night, they are, you know, they are setting fire. Finally, after that, they are going to get some very small amount of uranium, uranium, which is very costly. They are very poor men. They collected uranium for, from pitch blend. They are doing research. From pitch blend, they are collecting uranium. And at night time, they are putting that uranium in a dex. Uh, by chance, they, they don't know, they are going to put some film, raw film, raw, raw film, there, in the same decks. When the morning time they start their job, they open, they find there is a light, you know, mark there in the raw film. Film is intact, new film. How possible the kind of light is? Thinking. Second day, they are again getting some new film, putting there, same reaction. Then started thinking, how possible? Maybe some radiation coming from this uranium. Otherwise, how possible? They started research. Finally, they find alpha, beta, gamma ray coming out. I am giving this example this way. Research is that first we will have to collect some thing. After that, you have to discard, this is not, this is not. After that, you can tell, you, finally you can reach your goal. There is a research. So, 
by the application of your material when you can collect material knowledge, whatever knowledge, be it physics, chemistry, mathematics, or whatever, astrology, English, or anything, all you are collecting from your birth. When you took birth, after that onward, all your, by the, by the application of sense organ, you are collecting all knowledge. But that kind of enormous knowledge, what you have already collected in your life, you will have to throw it to dustbin, garbage, and make urine on it. After that you can come to me. That was the Siddhanta Vichara Prabhupada. One doctorate, very high class doctorate in German. Eternal person of Prabhupada. He came first. First advice Prabhupada told, Whatever knowledge, whatever research you have done, whatever degree you have, all you go and throw into a specific ocean, in the deep water, so that no possibility you can recover it. You go and throw. After that, you come to me. He becomes stunned. What he says? It's a revolution, this kind of thing I never heard. Yes, you go and throw. After that, you come to me. Then you can start knowing about that Aprakiti Jagat. But our conception is totally wrong. That's why you cannot make any progress in your life. after life we are wasting, but we cannot meet with such a personality who cannot cheat me, never, who can give exact knowledge, who can give bhakti. That is called paropokar, the best benefit. I can do for you. That is, I can change your heart and I can make you understand that up to now your track was totally wrong, you come fresh. I can help you to get bhakti, that is called my benefit to you. Whatever benefit I would like to do. That is called paropokar. I never like to do any jivhingsa. But people, people like to get jivingsa from me. Jivingsa, no? Jivingsa? Enmity. Jivingsa. Jivingsa, you don't know? To misguide people is called jivingsa. Not to speak about the secrecy of bhajan is called jivingsa. It's called jivingsa. I never wanted to do jivingsa. That's why people cannot accept me. If I start cheating them, they can accept me. But I cannot do jivingsa. This kind of preaching I cannot do. Totally wrong preaching. Have some love, puja, patishta, desire. First point, you cannot speak about their absolute truth. If you have your desire, love, puja, patishta, you can fear. Inside heart. You can fear. Because you need na. Love, puja, patisha, money, puja. So how you can speak? You cannot speak. So, you can fear. You cannot speak about the absolute truth. And when you can misguide people, you can get severe punishment for infinity period. Infinity period you can misguide. So, Adaksha Jabasu, you understand now. Now, two big Acharyas. One is Janvata Gurani, another is Ram Shakti Sita. They are Abhirbhaktiti today. What is the symptom of Acharya? You know, you ever think? When you started thinking about this thing, what is the main symptom of Acharya? How you can understand? By, how you can understand by hearing two sounds from that sadhu? By hearing only two sounds from sadhu, how you can realize that he is actual Acharya? Though he is not acting as Acharya, he is actual Acharya. How you can realize? You will have to develop your inside, inside darshan power. Material darshan you cannot know. 
you have to develop all your inside vision power. By the help of you, whenever you hear any harikatha from anywhere, immediately you can understand any material sound. It's no harikatha. Thousands of people there are useless. But common people cannot understand. Gaur Kishore Baba can arrest. Srila Prabhupada can arrest immediately as a cheater. Immediately. They are so powerful. One sound is more than one sound can come, understand material. Because they are not in parampara. You have no idea what is parampara. You have no link. That's why you are not getting power. You are arranging 440 voltage in the meter. But you are so foolish, you are going to connect aluminium wire, very low gauge. It melts. In the men, there is power, but you cannot get current. So, they have no link with parampara. No guru parampara, they have no link. That's why they are not, not getting power. Only one or two sound after hearing. Gaurkishar Babaji immediately can say, cheater, cheater, cheater. If Prabhupada hearing one or two sounds from anybody, Prabhupada can pass a cheater, not sadhu. But you cannot understand. Like foolish, you can run here and there and waste your life. Simply because there is no popularity. Popularity is something else. And Hari Bhajan, Hari Katha is something else. Both together you cannot get. Both together you cannot get. If you seek popularity, then you have to lose your, all your bhajan. And if you want to get standard of Guru Parampara, Harikatha, Acharan, everything, no compromise, you can get lost. I am not going to take risks. I can take your responsibility when I can see you are 100% sincere. Otherwise, I cannot waste my time. I have no time. You can go elsewhere. This way, it is impossible to understand what is Siddhanta Bichar, what is only some material word, cannot understand. What is the symptom of Acharya? I am not going to speak in all in details, because no time. Only because years after years, and speaking about Guru Tattva, so secret thing. But foolish people, they are less interested. Their luck is very bad. Baba speaking, their luck is burnt up. The Baba speaking, their luck is burnt up. They cannot get any benefit. Burnt up their luck. How they can? They cannot get any benefit. Countless Siddhanta Vichara about Guru Tattva, Vaishnava Tattva, who is going to care? Because they don't need Bhagavan. By chance they come in Bhajan, but they, they cannot say by touching Salagram, by touching Nishingadev, I need Bhagavan Maharaj. I don't need money, position, no woman, nothing. Who can say? Come. Any Acharya, come and touch Nishingadev. And say, I, I don't want love, puja, patishtha, only, only I want Bhagavan. Who can say? Who can say, come and touch Nishimadev and speak? Very rare. Not a matter of joke. So, the first symptom of Acharya, so many Shastra Bichar, I have no time now. Main thing you can see, Prabhupada speaking, if you look at an if you, if, you, if you follow one perfect Acharya, one Sadhu, you can, you can see everything different, unusual. His sight, his speaking, his Siddhanta Vichar, his activity, all not usual, unusual. And why unusual? Because some sort of induction. Induction, you know? Induction, you know? Some sort of induction there. As if some kind of intoxication that sadhu having. What is that? Bhakti, prema. Always one kind of, one kind of feeling inside. 
they are always unmindful about material things. Papa speaking, the symptom of a sadhu, you can find, you can find something unusual. His looking, his speaking, his all activities, all not usual, usually not available. Something unusual. And one kind of, one type of induction. Avesh, what is called Avesh. You say, na, Shakta Avesh Avata. What do you mean by Shakta Avesh Avata? Some Shakti given by Bhagavan to a Jiva, but the Jiva, some Shakti you can do. Shakta Avesh Avata. Shakta Avesh. So, Parshuram Shakta Avesh. Then, Rishabdev Shaktabesh, all Shaktabesh. But Shaktabesh has difference. There is so many categories. Like, Vasudev Goswami is also Shaktabesh Avata, special Shaktabesh Avata. So, Vasudev Goswami is going to write, you know, compile so many Shastras. Eternally present, all Shastras eternally present. Vasudev Goswami is going to bash, distribute. So, you can find whole day and night that sadhu is one kind of induction, avesh. As if something is, uh, as if he is deep into some ocean, as if he is deep into some thoughts, always uh, thoughtful. Follow, you can understand. And his all activities, all speech, all writing, can speak some, can give some speciality. This is the way. This is the way to understand. Like I told you, somebody, some big professor, research fellow, doctorate, and the head of the department of language of Calcutta University. That time, I am not speaking now. I am speaking about 60, 70 years back. That time, the standard of Calcutta University was same like Oxford University. Or more than that. Because big, big scientists, Beng Bengali scientists were there. A brain. Einstein published the theory with S. N. Bose, Satyananath Bose. The formula E is equal to mc square. Uh, and some Planck constant, this mathematics was solved by that scientist. After that, they jointly got, they jointly received Nobel Prize. Whole world, nobody could solve this problem, only that scientist. That was the standard. But now, that's why I told in between, that all over the world, if you are neutral, if you, if you have some particular, don't come to me. If you are neutral, you can understand really, Mara speaking. All over the world, you can find, you can go anywhere. Anywhere you can go. I allow you go. You can see some sort of anticlimax. Baba all declining. Standard declining. Only money for going and going to kick each other, fight each other. This is going on. They don't, they, 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 they cannot remember, they cannot remember, this is not the question of fighting. They cannot remember this thing, simple thing, that this is not the question of fighting. This is the, this is the question of your survival of your real self, but you forget. You are busy with politics, particular, this. Are you? Go above particular, if you are sadhu. Why you are, you are sadhu? How you are sadhu? A sadhu is universal. A sadhu is universal, no politician. You are politician. So go out of this. You think you are going to lose everything, only fighting. It's not the question of fighting. It's a question of survival of your real self. You are going to decline. You are going to be busy with this kind of cheap things. Foolish. So, one kind of, you can find they are always in absorbing mood, 
of seva. You can discuss, you can see they are always in absorbing mood of seva. Absorbing mood of seva. So man can act as acharya, woman cannot act as acharya. I am not speaking that. Main Siddhanta is that is not the question of man and woman. Mahaprabhu already told, Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru Hai. Kiba bi pro kiba nashi, kiba bi pro kiba nashi shudra kene noy. Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru Hai. Ramananda Rai is the topmost acharya of a whole universe. Even demigods can come and take shelter of Rai Ramananda. It's more practical. Better they don't go to Vespati. Why they are going to Vespati? It's more practical they can come to Rai Ramananda. They can come to Rup Sanasan, Raghunath Das Gosai, Jiva Gosai. Why they are wasting time? They cannot find any solution in infinity pure. Because they cannot do Hari Bhajan. How you can get the clue? How to do Hari Bhajan? Who can guide you properly? All can misguide you and cut your pocket. So, Kiba bi pro kiba na shi shuddha kane noy, jai Krishna tattva betta sai guru hai. Who is Krishna tattva betta? So he, he is guru and she is guru. But, due to some secret reason, I already published one article, shortly you can find. Why? Women, Matajis are not allowed to act as Acharya. Mane, Diksha Guru. They can act as Acharya, they can speak Harikatha, they can, but they cannot sit in Vaisasana. Eh, they can guide people. Vaisasana also uh, dangerous for them for due to some secret reason. So, this way, they can act as Acharya. Even in Upanishad era, Pauranic era, you can find some Matajis, they have huge amount of knowledge. Even Rishi, they are Rishi. Some Matajis, they are Rishi. I can show you in Veda, they are getting mantra. They are doing bhajan, they are getting mantra, they are writing. Mantra. Some, some Mataji Rishi, they are, they are compiling mantra. So it's possible. Because they are beyond any body limit. They are beyond any body limit. No man and woman can, can go above body limit. Not possible. But man has some advantage. They can get some control. Some reason are there. And uh, so many things in Manu, Manu Sangeeta you can find here. There are so many things. Bharadra, Sangeeta, so many documents. You can find due to some secret reason, they cannot act as Mantra Diksha Guru. They can guide people. But you cannot compare Janava Thakurani, Hemlata Thakurani, Gangavata Thakurani. You cannot compare their case with ordinary man. Like Advaita Gosai leading family life. Sivas Pandit leading family life. Family life, no? They are leading family life, no? Sivas Pandit, Shivananda Sen, Sila Bhaktivinu Thakur. Huh? One wife has gone from this material world. Who can take care of the small boys? Again, Bhagavati, Jakpur. Before Kharagpur, there is one station. There is Jakpur, Bhagavati Ma. A Bhagavati Ma, Bhakti Thakur was bound to marry because all small, small boys, they can, who can take care? Why go on? But still, Bhakti Bhinod Thakur was successful to do Bhagavad Seva because he is eternal person of the Bhagavan. No matter how different way he was busy with different Seva, different obligation was there, government, service. But still doing everything, but at the same time, all writing, how possible? Even, even externally, even externally we can see, before taking shelter, 
before taking shelter onto the lotus feet of Gurudev, he is compiling all books. How possible? Absurd. Without taking shelter onto a lotus feet of Sadguru, nobody can express a prakita knowledge. How possible? So many books Bhakti Mataji wrote before taking shelter. Are How possible? Before taking shelter, nobody can do. Impossible. By Guru Kiba you can get, but he is eternal. He is compiling so many books, so many books, before taking shelter. Because his taking shelter is one kind of drama. They are taking shelter, one kind of drama. But they are eternal parts of the Bhagavan. So they are writings, everything. How possible? So, Bhakti Mir Thakur leading family life, Sivas Pandit leading family life, Shivananda Sen leading family life. Most of the members of Gauranga Parshad, they leading their family life. But be sure about it that their family life is not like your family life. All their children, all their wife, it is written, Papa speaking, Shandini Shakti Prakutita Nijajan. Bhakti Muni Thakur, his children, they are Shandini Shakti Prakutita Nijajan. All the expression of Shandini Shakti, Bhagavad, and all. And if somebody like to challenge, because we can act as Acharya, why not? Gangamata Thakurani is doing, uh, Janavata Thakurani doing, but you cannot compare their case. Because they are Sarup Shakti of Bhagavan, internal potency. Janavata Thakurani is not ordinary woman. Janavata Thakurani is not ordinary woman. Gangamata Thakurani is not ordinary woman. Hemlata Thakurani is not ordinary woman. Sita Thakurani is not ordinary woman. Follow, Sachi Mata, or you can say about Lakshmi Priya, Vishnu Priya, they are not ordinary women. This kind of audacity you should not express. They are not ordinary women. They are Sarup Shakti of Bhagavan. In different form, they are expressing to enrich, to contribute all Gaur, Leela, or and this way. So, Janva Thakurani and Vasudha Thakurani, both of them are the daughter of Shurjadas Pandit, Shurjadas Sarkhel Pandit, Gauridas Pandit and Shurjadas Pandit. In Kala you can find. Two daughters. But they are two daughters, not ordinary daughters. Sujyodas Pandit was very anxious about whom to about whom to offer these two daughters. They are not ordinary girl, woman. Could realize very, very powerful. Finally, in dream, he could realize that they are the eternal Shakti of Nityananda Balaram. In dream. Nithyanand Babu coming in Kalna to accept two daughters, Rebuti Baruni. Two type of conception. In general form, Rebuti Baruni, and in Raganuga Mark, if you think, then you can discover that Nithyananda Shakti Janavata Thakurani is Ananga Manjuri. Follow. In Raganuga Marg, if you think, you can discover the secrecy. That Janavata Gurani is Ananga Manjari, I am the, I am the younger and sister of Radharani. Follow. This way. So Nityananda Prabhu and Janavata Gurani non different from each other. They are not man and woman. In Aprakita Jagat, Shakti, Shakti, Matur, Avet, according to Vedanta Tattva, according to Vedanta Siddhanta, according to Vedanta Siddhanta, you can find Shakti, Shakti, Matur, Avet. 
Shakti Man, I mean, and Shakti, Nityananda Prabhu and his Shakti, non different from each other. Though we can find in the form of Janna Vatakurani. Radharani, non different from Krishna. Though externally you can find Radharani in the form of, you know, in the form of Radharani you can find the Shakti. But still, non-different from each other. Shakti, Shakti, Mattur, Abhet. So in this way, Nityananda Prabhu externally going to marry, but there is some mystery. Gauranga Mahapu going to marry Lakshmi Piyadevi, Lakshmi Devi gone, after that Vishnu Piyadevi. All Leela, Secret Leela. Vishnu Piyadevi coming in the life of Gauranga is eternal, you know, eternally present there. To help this Gauranga Leela, to enrich Gauranga Leela. Vipralamba Bhava. Our Vishnu Priya Devi, Vipralamba Baba, to enrich the Lila, coming to help. Anyway, she is also Acharya. And our Janavata Gurani, topmost Acharya, Janavata Gurani. If I go on speaking about him, it will take very, very long time. From different angles, I will have to discuss, I will like to jump because time cannot permit. So, Janavata Gurani, after, after uh, Nityananda Prabhu's marriage, Nityananda Prabhu wanted to, you know, open one seva. There is Kharda in Calcutta. After Barakpur, one station from Krishnanagar, you can go. There is Kharda. There you can find, there is the Sripat of Nityananda Prabhu. You can find Sipat. Then Nityananda Prabhu wanted to open one Sipat. And Vasudha Mata Thakurani is the elder sister of Janwata Thakurani. Janwata Thakurani is the younger sister. Vasudha Mata Thakurani, you know, Vasudha Mata Thakurani giving us. That, you know, Birbhadra. By the help of Vasudama Tathakurani, we are getting Birbhadra, Birchad. Follow. Who is? Uh, what is uh, Vishnu, some Vishnu. So, Vishnu Tattva, Birbhadra Ji. And Janama Tathakurani, whole life acting as a charya. Everywhere. Main point, I can speak some points, that Bhangshi Bhadanananda, some days before, I was speaking about Bhangshi Bhadanananda, you heard, Bhangshi Bhadanananda. The grandson of Bhangshi Bhadanananda, the grandson of Bhangshi Bhadanananda, is called Ramai. Bhangshi Bhadanananda took resolution to come in the form of Grandson. Bhangshivananda himself coming in the form of Ramai. Before leaving body, he told that I am going to leave body and come again eh, as a son of my son. As a son of my son is coming Ramai. And one day, Janavata Dagurani came here in Navadip Dham. So many cases I don't like to discuss. Even discussion with Vishnu uh, Priyadevi, Janavata Guru and discussion, so many secret things with Vishnu Priyadevi, nobody knows. So many things. So, Janavata Guru is going to their house and speaking to his number Chaitanya Das, I think, the son of uh, Bhangshipadananda. 
Thakurani is speaking that two that your to Chaitanya Das, your wife can give birth two sons. Very nice, powerful sons. After that, Janavata is gone. Really so. After some years, really so, two sons took birth. Janavata is coming one day, long after, because she was busy with so many things. And taking Ramai, you can give this son to me. Bhangshipadananda coming in the form of Ramai. And our Janavat Thakurani is going to take care of that boy. Our Janavat Thakurani is going to take care of the boy. Follow. Like the case of Vishnupya Thakurani. She is going to take care of that boy. Follow. Bhangshipadananda. And he, she is also going to take care of Ramai. Janvatakurani going to Advaita part with Ramai, after that going to Karda, after that Bindavan, so many cases. Finally, Janvatakurani giving mantra and diksha to this Ramai, making disciple. And from Bindavan, Janvatakurani going to bring Krishna and Balaram, two deities, which you can find here before Kalna Bhaganapada. Bhaganapada, one station you can find. There, you, I went there long ago, maybe 20 years back, 22 years back, one day to visit. The Krishna Balaram. That Krishna Balaram coming from Vrindavan with Janavata Gurani. So from then onward, Bhagnapara part, uh, you know, this parampara started authentic way. After that, something happened. I don't like to pass any remark. Janvatagurani bring uh, that two deity and open one sipat there. From then onward, their parampara was going. But after that, what happens, I don't like to pass any remark. No need. That is not so important. And externally, Bhakti Thakur took Diksha from that parampara, but that is one kind of acting. If I ask you that Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj is Anangaman, Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj is Guna Manjari, and Prabhupada is Nayan Mani Manjari, who is going to initiate whom? If I ask you, it's one kind of game. A Prakriti Yoga eternal person. So, Bhakti Vinod Thak, sometimes material people fighting. Nah? You see the mood in between of Harikatha, sometimes I can go to touch this point. Bindavandas Chakur Mahasaya writing Chaitanya Bhagavan. Right? And going to, going to stop writing and speaking, somebody can write. And Krishnadas Kavijas Goswami is going to write Chaitanya Bhagavad. And Chaitanya Bhagavad is the heart of Guru, Gauriya Guru Vaishnava. Those who are real Gauriya Guru Vaishnava, they are established in the acharan of Chaitanya Charitamrita and Chaitanya Bhagavad. So secret Siddhanta Vijaya. What not there? What not Siddhanta? All everything. But still, Krishnadas Kavijas Goswami writing, I am nothing. I am going to chew, I am going to chew all the uchista left by Vrindavanda Chakramasa. I am going to chew all the uchista left by Vrindavanda But you see, what is the standard of Chaitanya Charitamrita? Oh! Big, big Bhagavad scholars, they cannot understand what is there in Chaitanya Charitamrita. So secret Siddhanta. Without Kipa, a Gauranga Mahapu, without Guru Kipa, nobody can understand. Now my point is there, is somebody asking me that Krishnadas Kupiraj Goswami is thinking, is a Vasadeva, and like Guru, he is worshipping each and every fraction of second. Krishnadas Kupiraj Goswami is praying unto a lotus feet of Vindavan Dasta. 
At all I can get power by his kripa. But if I put question, Vrindavan Das Chakur Mahasaya is a Vyasadeva. That Vyasadeva who is coming in the form of this Vyasadeva, Chaitanya Bhagavat, writing. And Krishna Das Kobirat Goswami is Kasturi Manjuri. Kasturi Manjuri. Piyanarma Sakhi. If I put question, whose position is higher than whom? That Vrindavan Das Chakur Mahasaya, his position is higher than that. Or his position is Kasturi Manjuri. This kind of comparative statement should not be done. Should not be done. So though the position of Krishna Kavir is so high, even the eternal parshad of Radharani, Kasturi Manjuri, come on. <coughs> Radharani himself declared. Radharani wanted to declare this point in front of Vishana Chakotiva. When he was feeling disturbance, cannot understand that what is the actual meaning of Kam Gayatri, Kam Beach. Then Radharani came. She told to Vishana Chakotiva, Haribala, why you are fasting? Why you are fasting? Get up! Kishnodas Kobiraj is my Piyanarma Sakhi, Kasturi Manjari. She cannot make any mistake. She is going to calculate 24 and a half syllable. How? On the basis of what? But there is one calculation, Barnavi Gamat. There is one book on the basis of that calculation, Ya Antashta. How half, half syllable, how possible? Yes, in Sanskrit we know. When we are going to make some rhythm, when suppose I am writing some Sanskrit words, I have to maintain rhythm. There, Anushar, Bishargo, you cannot count. Anushar, Bishargo, you cannot count. But you don't understand what is Anushar, Bishargo. That is, you know, eh? when you are pronouncing, eh? you know, eh? When you are speaking now, uh, writing with me there, yo, H H you are writing now, Guraha, er Bisarga. Bisarga. Follow. So, it's very uh, important thing. Radharani is going to identify, Madhya is going to declare the sea, he is uh, my pure normal Saki. Follow. And Basdev Goswami, Basdev ji is Saktavya Zavatar. Externally, if you calculate, the position of Krishna is so high. But still you see how humble attitude. Every faction you go through, every day you must read Chaitanya Bhagavata and Chaitanya Jaya. Every day in your life. Even one page, but you must read. It is the instruction of Bhakti Thakur. So, humbleness, is the basic thing of Harika. That doesn't mean I can stop speaking about the absolute truth. Humbleness doesn't mean I can speak some lie. Expressions of humbleness. Kapat Bhav. So, Prabhupada wanted to speak that when it is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita, that Kai Mano Bhakya Kare Udbeg Nadivo. By body, speech and mind, don't try to give any tension to anybody, any pain to anybody. Papa speaking, that doesn't mean I can stop, stop, speak, stop speaking about that absolute truth. Papa speaking. I cannot take undue advantage, Papa speaking, I cannot take undue advantage of this sloka. Kai mane bhakke kare udbeg nadivo. By body, speech and mind, you cannot give any attention. I am not going to follow this formula. Because I have to help people to get bhakti. So I must be very heavy. To speak heavy, because I cannot misguide them. So, Papa speaking, in the name of this sloka written in Chaitanya Chaitamita, that Kayamane Bhakya Kare Udbeg Nadibo, by body, speech, and mind, don't give pain to anybody, no tension. I am not going to follow this. I am going to speak heavy, chide you. Even if need, I can beat you. Why? Because I love you. 
I like to deliver you. I cannot speak you lie. So, Papa speaking, in the name of Kaimana Bhakya Kare Udvegna Divo, by body, speech, and mind, one should not give attention to anybody. I can, one should not get, one should not take undue advantage of this sloka to stop speaking about the absolute truth. Though absolute truth is very bitter, still you will have to hear it. If you want Bhagavan. If you don't want, if you want kind of you know, drama, then you don't know. So, Janavadharani, Janavadharani went to Vrindavan, so many cases. All Acharyas, like Jiva Goswami all, they wanted to pay respect, full respect to Janavadharani. Because they know the tattva of Janavadharani. They know the tattva. They are not going to think it is woman. Jiva Goswami Pad, all Vaishnavas, they are going to pray past it, And to a lotus feet of Janavadharani. Janu Atta Raghurani. So, Janu Atta Raghurani went so many places, Govardhan, here, there are so many, I have no time to discuss. Janu Atta Raghurani went to, I, I used to go to different places because I have done so many parikrama, jungle, forest. So, there is Obegaon, that is a Rasa Sthali, that is a Rasa Sthali spot of Balaji Maharaj. There. When Janwa Thakuru went there, in absorbing mood, he was staying there for absorbing mood with absorbing. He was remembering all about that in the form of Balaram. In the form of Balaram. Balaram came now. Nitananda is Balaram same. So that Rasa Leela, Janwa Bhadra in thinking and gone faint. So, so many things. Finally, Janvata Gurani coming from Vrindavan, there are so many things done in Vrindavan. So many. I have no time to speak. Come back from Vrindavan. First time when he went there with Krishna Balaram, in came and Janvata Gurani initiated a very selected man, select there. But their initiation, Gangavata Thakurani initiated so big, big personality, like the king of some Orista Teth. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean we can allow all Matajis to. We cannot do. This is not the system. Their case is totally separate. For Gangavata Thakurani, Jagannath appeared. For you, Jagannath can appear? For Janu, for Ganga, for Ganga Mata Thakurani, Jagannath going to Jagannath going to emit Ganga from the nail because Ganga Mata Thakurani wanted to go come to Bengal to take bath in Ganga. Jagannath, what need? A Ganga is coming out from um, by nail. Okay, you can stay here. You can take bath here. Jagannath himself from the nail of Jagannath. Ganga coming out, a flow of Jagan, flow of Ganga. And Ganga Mata Thakurani was taken by this, by this, you know, wave inside the temple of Jagannath. Inside the temple of Jagannath, the, uh, the wave was so high that it taking Ganga Mata Thakurani flowing there and so inside Jagannath temple. So many cases. Do you think their case is similar with you. Eh? What do you think? Even in Manushangita, if you those who are leading their grass life, if they go through Manushangita, they can go mad. What kind of restriction there, rules and regulation, all system they are written. Manushangita, this much. All Manuji, Manu Maharaj going to write. So, people not, people are busy with argument. People now busy with argument. They are less interested to accept. They are less interested. So, day by day I am feeling this kind of thing. Nobody likes to follow Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. I am also feeling some reaction inside, watching them. 
One month ago, or two months, or six months ago, I saw them. They are following something. Now they are off from line. Nobody likes to do Guru Seva, Prabhupada Seva. Nobody likes to do. In true sense. True sense. In true sense, they don't like to do. True sense means you have to follow exactly what Prabhupada told. But it's impossible. It is impossible. Everybody can say, I am falling. But proof how you are falling. So, Janavata Raghurani initiated and Janavata Raghurani went to participate in Keturi Utsav, the topmost fest festival, the topmost Vaishnava festival in the world. Evergreen. Evergreen. Never happened like that. That was the topmost festival. Remarkable. Nobody no bhutam na bhavishwati. In past, nobody done. In future, nobody can do. Nobody can do. This kind of Vaishnava festival was there. All Vaishnavas from Vrindavan, Purushottam Khetra, Navadip Dham all gathered there. And Janavadha Gurani, under the guidance of Janavadha Gurani, that festival was there. Janavadha Gurani was the topmost, was the Acharya. Under the guidance of Janavadha Gurani, all the festival. Hello, six pair of deities in store. The name you will have to go through books. Radha Ki. Uh, Radha, Samchad, Radha, these, so many names are there, six pairs. Janavatha Gurani cook and going to give boga directly. Janavatha Gurani was the leader. A whole festival was organized by Janavatha Gurani. Srinivas Acharya, Ramchandra Kabira, Narthama Thakur, Samananda Prabhu, all there. And Gaur Nityananda appeared in the Kirtan. In the Kirtan, Gaur Nityananda appeared. Dancing in the kitchen. Can you remember? Can you imagine even? Gornitananda, they themselves appear in the kitchen. Amazing. So don't try to express audacity. Always try to follow Guru Bhargava, it's more practical. Just that day I was writing in computer one Siddhanta shown by Mahaprabhu. I know you have done so many things. I know you have done so many things. Who is going to, uh, who is going to uh, disobey you? Who is going to reject you? You have done so many things. I know. I agree. But, but, what you are doing? All spoiled. Whole life you are doing bhajan perfectly. Last time you are doing on great Vaishnava Parat. All spoiled. Mahaprabhu giving example. Mahaprabhu giving one example, very, very, you know, practical example. And one example is more than sufficient for you to digest the whole Siddhanta Vishaya. Mahaprabhu speaking that if there is one pot of milk, very dense milk, very pure milk, one pot of milk, very nice milk, we can make parmanna, we can do so many things, but somebody going to drop one Somebody is going to throw one drop of wine, one drop of wine in the pot of milk. Mahapo speaking. Same Siddhanta, I can say you the page number of Chaitanya Chaitanya. Prabhu kahe purno jaiche, purno jaiche dukdher kalosh. Sura bindu pate keho nakare parosh. That milk is very good, very pure milk, but so what? Simply one drop of wine, touch all milk, you will have to throw into dustbin, into drain. Follow. All your life you are doing everything. But now you started criticizing Guru Vaishnava, all spoiled. So many Siddhanta, countless I can show from Sastra. Vaishnava Parad, no excuse. Bhagavan said, no, 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 no excuse. If you do Aparad and well, I can consider the case. But Vaishnava Parad, no, no, no. All wild. 
Whatever you have done, you have done so many things I know. But all spoiled due to one thing, because you wanted to speak all rubbish against pure, pure Guru Vaishnava, Siddhanta Bhid. This kind of word you cannot use it. It's impossible. Mahaprabhu can never excuse you. Vaishnavas, we cannot, we cannot try to rectify Vaishnava. Because Vaishnava is the perfect. If I try to rectify a Vaishnava, I must rectify you. This is my adversity. They are pure. <laughs> How I can rectify them? Vaishnava can never be rectified. They are pure. You try to rectify your character and you know, conception, everything. How dare you going to rectify them, speaking all rubbish to them? Then is a Siddhanta, countless Siddhanta, I can speak from different Sastha, Chaitanya, 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 Simad Bhagavad, countless. I'm going to write one book. I wrote one book 12 years back. 12 years back, on behalf of Saraswat Gauriya Sangha. That book was so like, like, like atomic reaction. But it was in Bengali. Nobody could speak even one single word. Against that, because I write, I think all right, exact. I told all your brain can put together and give answer to this book. Protest no, they couldn't give. Twelve years gone. If you understand Bengali and if you have done triple MA and have already have some association of Vaishnav, then you can realize. The book is too tough. The name of the book was. The name of name of the book was. No enmity, only solution. No enmity, only solution we want. But they don't like to find solution. Because Balaji Maharaj speaking to Duryodhan. Balaji Maharaj speaking to Duryodhan. Those who are popped up, so false ego, they don't like to find solution. They think money power is everything, but they don't know. Anytime you are sitting, on, you are sitting on ammunition, you know, gola barud, gola, or you know, what is called, you know, all boom, boom, you know, inside boom, inside boom, there is some, some potassium uh, on this, uh, so many things are there, composition, it's barud, it's very explosive material. You are sitting on a, you are sitting on a, Hill of explosive material. Anytime explosion can take place, can scatter. You write my word in diary. You write my word in diary. You can find someday. Anyway, now no time to speak. So, Savai Pungsam Parodharmo Yatu Bhakti Radhakshaje Ahitukya Pratihata Jayatma Su. Prasidati. Also, I can speak some two words about Ram Shakti Shita Devi. Shita Devi is the eternal Shakti of Ram Chandra or Ram or any avatar coming from Baldavaji Maharaj. Baldavaji Maharaj came, Baldavaji Maharaj division. Baldavaji Maharaj coming in the form of Sankarsan, this, that. First Sankarsan group, square, second. After that, this Sankarsan from there. Karana Nabasai. Eh? Karana Nabasai first. After that, you can find you know, Garbhada Gosai. After that, Kirada Gosai. All you yeah. So, in each Brahmanda, all different avatara appearing from this Garbhada Gosai, Vishnu. I mean, from Balaram, original. So, Ramji is non different from Krishna, but still different. Still different regarding Leela. So, here actually Sita Devi, you should know something about Sita. Now I have no time to speak all in details. Someday I can speak. Sita Devi is the eternal Shakti of Ramchandra. All Shakti of different avatar coming according to their, according to their Leela. So, according to Leela of Nishingadev, Lakshmi Devi can come. 
according to the according to the leela of Barahadev, Lakshmi Devi can come. I mean, Shakti can come. Lakshmi Baraha, but not same. Different, different grade. Lakshmi Nishinga, according to their grade, they are coming. According to their Leela, they are coming. So, according to the Leela of Ramji Maharaj, I mean, Dasaratha Nandan, Ramchanda, according to that Leela, Sita they be coming to cooperate, to make the whole Leela very tasty. Contribution of Sita Devi, we cannot forget. Because if Sita Devi is not there, this kind of Ravan, abduction of Sita, all friendship with monkeys, or so many things, impossible. So Sita Devi is not foolish. Sita Devi is not foolish, you can think, uh, how possible. Only, this is one kind of Leela. So, Sita Devi, she is the daughter of Janak Raj. Janak Puri, Mithila, one place Mithila, near Rakshal, in ne Nepal, you know, Indian border Nepal starting, there in the sloping, you can find one place, it's called Mithila, Rakshal, I went there, of oh, 35, uh, 35 years back, 35 or more, I cannot remember. I can remember the incident, everything, where I go on, night time, all uh, night time, one o'clock, I reach Roxal. The whole place was, you know. Then policemen going in, you know, in van. Nobody know, no. We cannot get any place where to stay. Policemen came to help us. I can remember everything. So long ago, thirty-five or thirty-eight years back. <laughs> Not now. So Roxal from Roxal, you can go to. Nepal and also from Raksal, you can go to Mithila. Mithila is a so important place of education, and up, especially in Naya Shastra logic. Navadip, Mithila, Baranasi, all important places of education. Big, big pandit. So, Mithila and Mithila, Sita Devi took birth there, but his birth is something unusual. Because Janak Raja discovered that small baby on the, in the, on the very sharp portion of one plough. Sita Devi discovered. Sita Devi was discovered. Then he is going to collect that daughter and going to identify my daughter and take care. So, like Sita Devi, our, I uh, know, that uh, the wife of Panchapanda, Draupadi, she is also coming out of fire. You cannot find any mother or father. From father, uh, from fire, Draupadi coming up, follow, Drupad Raja, from fire. So, Sita Devi also actually are going to identify Janak Raj as a, as a daughter, my daughter. She, she, she took birth. So excellent avatar. Sita Devi, and due to Sita Devi, we can find all Leela of Ramchandra perfect way. So, she was abducted by Ravan Rakshas, also some reason, secret reason. After that, Ravan was killed. Sita Devi was delivered by Ramchandra, actual Siddhanta Vijaya is that Sita Devi can never be abducted by anybody. Abduction of Sita Devi is not possible, Gorang Mahapur told. Are Ravan cannot even see, Mahapur speaking, even Ravan cannot see Sita Devi. What the question of abduction of Sita Devi? Mahapur speaking to one, Brahm, one Brahman in South India who is doing Ram Bhajan. Are you are sorry, why sorry? Are Sita Devi was abducted? No! Even Ravan cannot see Sita Devi, how possible? Shadow Sita, that was Shadow Sita. Actual Sita went to the Kasude of fire. Original Sita was kept in the Kasude of Ravan. 
I uh, study of fire. So it's not possible. So anyway, due to Sita, we know, and uh, Hanumanji Maharaj is going to project with Sutta Devi so many things, you know, no time. So we are going to pray Kipa unto the lotus feet of Janavata Gurani and unto the lotus feet of Ram Shakti Sita Devi today. Sava Ipungsam Paro Dharmu Yatu Bhakti Radhakshaji Ahitki Apratihata Jayatmasu Prasidati Vanchakalpaturu Sikipa Sindhu Bhavaja Patitanang Pavane Bhavishna Bhyo Namo.